Hi, can you see me? I'm here in the corner. Uh, so today I want to show you guys how I did the CPU block that was 3D printed in my BCN Sigma review that you can see up in that corner. Um, so we'll just head on into it. But if you don't know what PVA is, that is a support material for your 3D print that is water soluble. So instead of having to hack it away and cut it away, uh, when you need a model that has some sort of support under, you can just solve it up in water, which is pretty neat. So uh, in Simplify 3D, which is my to, um, to go to software, this is my project and I can't turn it because that would slow down the recording. Anyway, so this is the file and um, we'll just have a look at the settings that I were using and what we were thinking about. When exit the preview, um, the difficult thing here was these blades. So these blades are really tricky to get 3D printed and as you can see we do have some, some um, empty air in between. So this was a really tricky model to print and uh, it's a really good test to see what PVA is capable of. So uh, a few of the settings that we had to tweak were, well first of all we're just using the Progen settings up here and we're also using the preset for high and we're using both extruders and if we go over here to support we can see that we're using the support material with the right extruder which was the one I had loaded with PVA. Um, not too much to change here, the, um, all I did wanted to have was uh, dense, um, dense infill which may, means that the last two layers, dense support layers, have a hundred percent infill and also also be really important but this should be made from um, uh, from your uh, progen presets, uh, you d don't want to have any space between your PVA support and your PLA model or whatever material you are using. And that's one of the really important things with uh, PVA support is that you want to have it uh, almost almost printed like a solid. You want to have it as close as possible uh, to make sure you get the best possible support since you're going to rinse it away anyway. And other than that, one of my ch settings that I had to change was th this here. Only use parameters for thin walls and uh, having a 40% overlap here. Because my nozzles are 0.4mm and these fins here are 0.7mm, that means that we, we, we can't have two next to each other because that's going to be 0.8. So I need to have some sort of overlap to make sure that we get the um, 0.7. Uh, and that's why I chose 40% overlap on the uh, parameters as infill. So with that said, um, let's head on to do some printing and you'll see how the process was done. Alright, so we're just looking here at the print, the time lapse. Uh, I think this is really impressive. It's around 39 hours long, I think. And you can see the right extruder with the PVA and the left one with PLA working really hard, making this model as good as possible. And if we just look right here, we can see that the PVA is actually a little bit stringy and I think that is actually moisture building up in the uh, PVA support material. And also this is pretty cool inside of the tubes and you can see them connecting with the fins. It's a, it's a pretty neat uh, time lapse. So here we have it, the finished model. So you look, you can see it's a little bit stringy, but all in all, it's super impressive. I'm really, really proud of the result. You can even see her through the fin blades. It's such a cool shot. I just love it. So when that is done, all we have to do really is to uh, remove the, the model from the build plate, which is easy. I usually like to remove just at, at least some of the PVA so it doesn't have to be uh, molted away. And uh, speaking of that, I set up this little studio to be able to take a time time lapse as well of the of the bucket of water, which is this one here. So I'm just using the biggest water container I could find indoors, and uh, <laughs> yeah, just put down the model. And uh, you can see here that I'm just pushing it down. I will uh, let it sink by itself. And in this time, time lapse here, I'm just leaving it and then I'm pushing it around. So that's why it's disappearing. You can see all the leftover um, 
uh, support as well. So here I rinsed it once and I'm uh, changed the water and do it again. So you can see here it's almost finished and uh, after that I just rinse it. Uh, so this takes a few minutes. If you don't have um, cold water like this, you can rinse it in your bucket. But I, I actually took it just in the sink, which isn't always the best, but that was what I did. <laughs> And here you have it, here are some of the final shots of the, um, the model and I think it looks really really awesome. It's, uh, it's not perfect, you can see there's a slight, slight warp, but I mean all, over, all in all it's so impressive. And that's actually it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it, I hope you liked this really cool print. Um, you can check out my Instagram and Twitter down below, there are some high res pictures of it. And uh, let me know what next I should print with PVA that is super hard and super difficult to do. With that said, thanks for watching this video, hope you learned something, hope you saw something cool. Hope you want to check out the review and the box here later. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your night, day or evening or whatever it is. Stay awesome guys, bye.